Hello and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today we're going to explain how to control the speed of a cylinder's piston with these components from our good folks at SMC. But why would you want to control the speed? Think about that for a second. Well, because it not only influences the rate of productivity of a machine or production facility, but it also greatly affects the safety conditions of a workspace and the longevity of that very, very expensive piece of production equipment that your boss just laid out a whole bunch of money for. Now, absorbing kinetic energy is a function of the cylinder's cushions, so it's imperative that the speed is adjusted not to exceed the cushion's kinetic energy specifications. So, before we show you how all that works and we start touching some buttons over here, we're gonna put on our PPE because it's important. We wanna show you how to do it right. And remember, PPE is extremely important. Always be safe on the job. Now, what I have in front of me right here, we're gonna take this SMC AS Series Speed Controller. It's just a simple fitting, but it also has an adjustable needle and check valve combination that controls the flow rate of compressed air in one direction and allows free flow in the other. Now, I have a little lock system here on this, which is great. You can see this number right here, it says four. And what I can do is I can actually adjust that flow rate. So I'm gonna turn it, I'm going up to nine on this one right here. Now, I can lock that in and I'm not gonna be able to, to move that anymore, one of the safety features. Now the combo is designed so when compressed air enters the inlet side, which is right over here, it's not gonna pass through the needle valve, but enter the cylinder port unobstructed or unadjusted, all right? And then turning the knob at the top, as I just did, will adjust the needle valve to allow more airflow or less airflow to pass through, thus controlling the speed. Now when compressed air flows back out, it's gonna be coming this way, coming out this way right here, back out of the cylinder port from the opposite direction, the speed controller's check valve will redirect the airflow to pass through the needle valve so it can be adjusted, thus controlling the speed. Now this configuration is called a meter out. As a general rule, meter out is recommended for most applications because of the reliable piston speed control. Yeah, because I can set it to whatever and then I can lock it. Now a slower flow exhaust rate creates an increase in back pressure, which decreases speed. And a higher flow exhaust rate creates a decrease in back pressure, which increases the speed. And we're gonna demonstrate that right now by using the cylinder I have here in front of me. Now this is an NCM cylinder and it's cycling without any adjustments to the AS speed controls. Now I have it here on an eight. It's going pretty fast, but I can adjust that exhaust flow by turning the knob on the speed control as I showed over there, all right? So I'm gonna unlock it. You saw how fast it was going, and I'm gonna crank this all the way down to a two so you can see the difference. I'm locked in, good to go. And as I said, a slower exhaust rate will slow down the piston speed. That's the push to lock feature that secures that speed control once it's been adjusted. And I can't do it, I can't, I can't touch anything unless I unlock it. Speed controls have some unique features that help with common concerns, like the speed control has a numeric scale that simplifies setup. You saw it, I went from eight all the way down to two. Now we also have the tamper-proof unit that prevents unwanted adjustment. This one right here has a residual pressure valve that removes trapped compressed air with just the push of a button. They're right on the end right here. You can just push the button, all the air comes out. And there you go. That does it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Remember, you can watch other videos at mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll just get that one back in. Thank you. It's kind of like using the force, only with a piston. Yeah, I know.